Hey, everyone. Uh, I know some of you don't have Microsoft Word. Some of you are using Google Docs to complete this work. Uh, in theory, everyone has access to Google Docs. It's free. It's included in your TDSP student accounts. So in the event we're trying to do this whole Boolean algebra thing in Google Docs, you can do it. I'm going to show you how. Um, so, a little bit. so same examples. I've got A and B. I'm going to show you how we would do that. If you come up to the insert button up here, uh, you hit insert, look at that, you've got an option here for an equation. Uh, click on equation, and you start typing A, and then we're going to insert the operator. The operators now are, they're all grouped up inside here. This little toolbar just showed up when I went into the equation mode. And the second one here is miscellaneous operations. If I click on the down arrow, I get a whole bunch of options that show up, including a bullet. And I click B, and I hit enter, and there we go, we've entered the first one. And uh, that is italicized. If I highlight it, I can de-italicize it. Maybe I can italicize it. I can't. It won't let me. Whatever. That's it. It's italicized. Get over it. I'm over it. Uh, next one up, again, insert equation. Uh, we're going to do A or B. That's simple. It's written as A plus B. Of that one. Now, getting the overbar in Google Docs is a little less user friendly than it was in Microsoft Word. Um, same deal, we're going to come up, insert equation. And uh, this is one of those things where you have to take a leap of faith and you got to trust me that this works. If we type backslash, that's that slash, not the one that goes the other way, it's, it's that slash, the backslash, and type in overline overline um, hit space you can see everything just disappeared and i've got a little tiny if you look carefully you can see at the top of that cursor there's a, a little tiny horizontal bar and this is where i can type in my b and uh just so you know if i were to type in a whole bunch of stuff here it'll all show up with a line on top of it so sometimes you only want to have the line over one thing uh, when you're done typing the stuff that needs the line hit enter and I can go back to typing like normal without the line. So just so you know that. So there's my not B. Uh, if I wanted to do A, X, or B again, insert equation. A, uh, we're going to put our operators right here. And there's a circle plus B. Very good. In A and AND B, we're going to demonstrate now having an overbar across multiple characters. Because if I come in... And I insert an equation, again, backslash, overline, space. Now I'm into the overbar territory. I've got that horizontal bar above my letters. And I'm going to do A, insert character. I need the bullet operator, B, and there we go. So same thing we had in Microsoft Word. Um, it's actually a little less clicking in Google Docs, but Microsoft Word gives you more options for what you can do. So... If you have Microsoft Word, I would encourage you to use it. If you don't have Microsoft Word, this works totally fine for our purposes. Um, but I'm just kind of letting you see that you can do this task regardless of your software at home. So again, I hope that helps. And uh, let me know if you need any additional pointers or guidance with how to make this go. Bye.